A very special Tampa middle schooler is being nominated for the Prudential Spirit of Community Awards for his commitment to volunteering. Vance Tomasi joins me now with how he is helping others through his project called Read, Repeat. Good morning. Good, good to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I had a chance to meet your buddy a couple years ago, uh, very yeah. similar to this award. Uh, but before we get into how special this is, talk about your organization and uh, what it is. All right. So me and my friend Chase, uh -huh. we started this project about two and a half years ago. It'll be three years in August. Mm -hmm. We did a book project for NEHS and we said, how about we do this more? And we kept on going and going. So was this a school project that originally, is that how it kind of got motivated? And then- It was originally a school project, but then we like took it farther. Yeah, you were like, hey, wait a minute, there's a real need for this. And from what I understand is, have you guys helped donate more than 90, is this right, 90,000 books now? It is, 90,000 wow. books, 55, thousand of which have gone to schools. That's awesome. Congratulations. So who are the schools? I mean, where are you seeing this need where people are needing? Is it new or maybe gently used books? It, they can be new, but we also have gently used books. Okay. Um, the need is really in Title I schools. Mm -hmm. Title I schools are like really underfunded mm -hmm. and they don't have a lot of books, if any books and we help them out. We usually give about 1,000 to 2,000 books to each school. Wow. If we can raise enough books. And is it for students to take home or do they keep them in the libraries there or is there a little bit of both? We usually give about two books to each student okay. and then what's ever left over goes to teacher libraries and the school library. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, uh, again, we're gonna get to the award in just a second, but what do your friends say? Obviously you started this with your buddy. I know you guys are very close, but what do your peers say around you when you they hear that you're doing this? This must keep you pretty busy throughout the year. <laughs> They're like, I never knew you did this. How do you do this? <laughs> Have you, some of your friends like volunteered and, and kind of gotten on board as well? Yes. I would imagine so. Well, tell me about this award, that it, uh, award that's going to have you going up to Washington, D.C. pretty soon. It's called the Prudential Spirit of the Community Award. It's a government-funded program for children grades 5 through 12. It's, it awards 102 kids from around the United okay. States. And there's two from right here in Florida, right? You and, and, another, and another girl. Young lady, uh-huh. And it basically symbolizes the amazing work kids do in their community. Mm -hmm. And it's an all expense paid trip, trip right? To, to Washington, D.C. Yeah. And it's a, uh, we get a silver medallion and a thousand dollar grant. Uh, what would you do with that thousand dollars? Probably college. <laughs> well, um, for families watching this morning, maybe we have some other um, young teenagers watching this morning. What would you say to them to help inspire them, whether it's helping your organization or maybe starting their own? I mean, I'm sure a lot of kids would say, that's just too much work or I can't possibly take on something like that. What would you say? Um, well, you don't have to do a humongous project. Just going out to maybe a local soup kitchen, helping out for an hour or two, going to a local animal shelter, helping out an hour or two. Every single hour counts. You can make a difference in your community, even if it's a small bit. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much. I have a five-year-old son, a six-year-old daughter. I can only hope they're doing amazing things like you are by the time that they are in middle school. Keep us posted on this award. We're going to be cheering you on right. and uh, certainly on the organization as well here in the Bay Area and uh, see where it goes from here. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And of course, we'll put more details on our website.